Howdy guys, Kel Kellogg here. It is December 28th, um, 2023 is about over. So this is a great time for an end of the year fishing report. Um, I'll point you in some directions where you can go and catch trout right now. And I'm also gonna share our lakes where things are gonna, gonna go off really soon because there are some trout plants scheduled. Um, I'm at Folsom right now, optimum conditions. 54 degrees on uh, on the surface haven't caught any trout yet but uh, I'm out here basically i'm out here scouting i haven't been on the lake in a couple months i'm just trying to eliminate water kind of trying to put a pattern together just kind of poking around checking things out i've had a couple bites i just had a bite on a pink trout tricks down about 10 feet so fingers crossed i'm going to catch fish here real soon we shall see um first lake i want to talk about is comanche Comanche has been planted quite a bit, you know, dating back to like November. Um, Comanche is a big place, it's a big lake. Takes a, takes a lot of trout plants to really get that bite going out there. Um, so there's a lot of planters in the lake at this point, and there's also a lot of holdovers from last year. The lake had a, had a good amount of water in it all summer, and that means a lot of those fish that were planted last spring have, sur have survived, and they're coming back up to the surface as big, beautiful holdovers. Um, trollers and bank guys are getting limits out there right now, and that's actually going to be my next destination on the kayak. I can't wait to get out to Comanche. Um, on top, or, or for the trollers, trolling up top, top 10 feet of the water column basically, Speedy Shiners, my Speed Spoons, Rapalas, and my uh, Trigger Spoons are all producing fish. I'm trolling anywhere from about two and a half to three and a half miles an hour. That's working most days. Guys are catching fish up in the narrows in the river arm. Guys are catching fish out on the main body. If you don't like to troll fast or you get out there on a day when they're just not hitting that, that you know, fast trolled hardware, um, grubs are working very well at about 1.8, you know, up to 2.2, down to 1.5, mix it up a little bit. The FHS grubs are producing limits out there. And the real sleeper bite at Comanche has been a trolling fly bite. Um, my standard classic trolling flies are kicking out limits. My metal heads are kicking out limits. So, you know, basically you can get out there and troll your, your favorite bait and have a really good chance at catching a limit of fish and a really good chance of catching a really big fish because they're getting fish out there up to eight pounds and more. So very exciting for the trollers at Comanche right now. Bank guys, they're slinging power bait, power bait, power bait, power bait, and they're catching limits. You know, if you're gonna go out there and fish bait, put 30 minutes in at a spot if you don't get hit go somewhere else stand and move to you find the fish then get those five fish and uh, you know go home a happy angler right next door to Comanche we have Amador Amador is another place where the bite kind of got going slowly this year but now it is firing on all cylinders if you look at the Lake Amador Facebook page you're seeing big fish being caught almost every day trollers are getting them on uh, my grubs, they're getting them on Rapalas, and they're getting them on threaded worms, as I recall. The bank guys, they are using power eggs and power bait. Those Amador trout, they have always liked that small profile of a power egg, either in white or chartreuse. So that's all working. If I had to choose between Comanche or Amador right now, I would probably choose Comanche because it's a bigger lake and it captures my imagination more. But if you're an Amador guy, um, by all means, get out to Amador, get one of those big double digit trophy fish and uh, you will be a hero. You'll be the only kid on your block with a double digit trout. So Amador is a great lake and uh, this is the time to be there. Between now and you know springtime, say April, it fishes very, very well. Um, Lake Berryessa, that has been red hot. It slowed down a little bit over the last few days, and I think that's due to the full moon. I was out there about a week ago, and, and I enjoyed just outstanding action on rainbows to about five pounds. The fish fought super, super hard. Number one offering for me was spoons, either my trigger spoon or the trigger spoon junior. I caught that big fish, the five pounder, on a trigger spoon junior, trolled 10 feet deep at about 1.8 miles an hour in the narrows. I also got fish on trolling flies out there. Um, it was a near surface bite for me, top 10 feet. Um, speed didn't seem to matter. You could troll fast, you could troll slow. You just had to tailor your lures to whatever speed you wanted to troll. And uh, you were catching fish and I caught fish all day long. I had a couple slow periods, but basically I caught fish all day long. So put that on your calendar because those are some of the hardest fighting trout I've ever caught. 
and uh, as long as that action kind of holds up you should get out there and get in on it because it's pretty epic you can take it from me so those are pretty much the lakes that are oh collins lake I, I need to mention collins lake those those are pretty much the lakes that i'm thinking about now collins lake has started kicking out limits it was a very slow fall at collins lake you had to work for every strike but now i mean there are thousands of fish in that lake at this point because you know when they planted a lot of them this fall and plants are continuing now a lot of those fish weren't caught um, trollers are scoring limits on my soft plastics they're scoring limits on trolling flies and they're also catching uh fish on a variety of different spoons but as is usually the case spoons are not the best offering out of collins lake the soft plastics are that's the most consistent producer for the trollers out there bank anglers power bait power bait power bait green garlic power bait it's getting limits don't cast it out too far keep it in 10 feet of water or less that means cast out a short distance and again give your spot 30 minutes if it doesn't produce make a move you don't have to move a mile move 50 or 100 yards sometimes that's all you need to do at Collins Lake to change things up so that's very good now looking forward we have some some lakes that are going to be planted with trout here very shortly within the next three weeks and uh, you know these trout plants were all traditional back in the day but they kind of ceased during the drought because they didn't have the cold water to produce the trout so the trout plants didn't take place um, first place Rollins Lake late January we're going to plant Rollins Lake and that is a super exciting fishery once it's been planted those rainbows dial into the pond smell very quickly and you can you can spank them on spoons out there so i'm very excited about that i love Rollins lake it's beautiful in the winter time there's nobody around to bother you it's just you and a few other fishermen out there it's perfect for kayaking it's perfect for boating it's just an awesome lake and i'm super stoked that they're going to plant that lake you can get them off the bank there too you can get them at long ravine you can get them over there on the other side. I forget what that's called. The side over there where they have the sandy beach. Orchard, Orchard Springs, I think it's called. Yeah, Orchard Springs. You can get them off the bank over there. But anyway, super excited that they're gonna plant Rollins. So they're also gonna put rainbows in Jenkinson Lake. Great supplement to the Mackinac over there. I don't know if you saw my video a couple weeks ago. Went over there, hammered to Mackinac. Well, now you're gonna be able to go over there and hammer Mackinac and planted rainbows so super exciting i'm glad they're planting that they're also going to plant Englebright. from what i hear they're going to put some trout in Englebright, and they're supposed to put some more trout in uh, scott's flat which is great news that's another fun lake real similar to rollins um just a fun place to fish small lakes you can kayak it small boat it you know stuff like that or you can go up there and you can bank fish anyhow that's kind of a wrap there's a lot of other destinations you can go to right now and catch trout but those are the ones that are on my mind um where am i going next i'm going to go to comanche for sure i want to hit Englebright. i want to hit rollins i'd love to go to pyramid if, if that happens and of course i'm going to be spending a lot of time out here at Folsom. then i'm going to be returning to collins lake i will be out at collins lake on my kayak long before i get back out there and start guiding in uh, in march though so Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. I'm out of here for now. I want to thank you guys for all the support in 2023. You guys have been awesome. If you're really supporting the channel, you're supporting the store, and uh, we want to thank each and every one of you for all that support. 2024 is going to be an awesome year. We got a lot of stuff planned. Um, we're going to catch a lot of trout. I'm going to get to meet a lot of you folks one on one when you book guide trips. Um, if you haven't been up there yet, go on over to fhsfishing.com. Check out my store. There's a bunch of information up there, and you can check out my guided calendar. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. Um, again, I want to thank you for all the support you gave us in 2023. Um, look for us in 2024, man. It's going to be a great year. I'm out of here. You have a wonderful day, and I will catch you next time right here on YouTube, and hopefully one of these rods is going to go off soon. I'm heading back in, but uh, I'd love to catch big old, you know, a big old Folsom Lake rainbow before I go in. I'll catch you later, guys. Fish on, daddy. Fish on. Right. Pink trout tricks worm. Oh, probably. This has 10 feet deep.
like that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Jump. That's a nice fish. Feels like a nice fish anyway. Oh, nice fish. What a nice hold over that is. Pink trout tricks worm. Nice square tail. Beautiful hold over. I'll get him revived, get him back in the water, and uh, 